Los Angeles is a vibrant, exciting place to explore with plenty of things to see and do. This is Katie from Creative Travel Guide and today we share the things to know before you go to Los Angeles. Looking for more travel tips? Make sure to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. So firstly, let's look at the best time to visit. March to May and September to November are the best times to visit Los Angeles. This is when the weather is pleasant, the air quality is better than other times of the year, and there are fewer crowds at the tourist sites. Summer is warm, making it harder to see the outdoor sites if you aren't used to the heat, whilst the winter months sees quite a bit of rain, so it is best to avoid this time if possible. Now let's look at getting there. Many visitors arrive in LA via air, with LAX being a popular stopover destination and serving many airlines and routes, both domestic and international. Once you arrive at LAX, you can take the flyaway bus into the city or take the shuttle bus then metro into downtown Los Angeles. Other local airports include Long Beach Airport and the Hollywood Burbank Airport, predominantly catering towards domestic flights. There are a few Amtrak train routes that stop in LA, connecting the city to other popular destinations in California, whilst Megabus is a great option for those traveling on a tight budget. So now let's look at getting around. Because of the size of Los Angeles, renting a car is a great option for those wanting to see the many sights across the city and county. Avoid traveling in rush hour and book your car rental in advance for the best prices. There are metro rail lines available with color-coded lines throughout the county, but not many routes stop near the major attractions. However, the red line does stop near Universal Studios Hollywood and the light blue Expo line has a stop in downtown Santa Monica, connecting you to the Santa Monica Pier. For first time visitors, you could take advantage of the sightseeing bus that takes you around the city and gives you the option to hop on and hop off to see the top sights. We'll leave the link to this in the description below. You could use taxis to get around LA as well, but many attractions are spread out, so this can be costly. So now let's look at the typical prices. Dorm beds start at around $40 if you book in advance, whilst private budget rooms begin at around $100. Mid-range hotel rooms in good locations can be found from around $180, whilst five-star rooms begin at $280. A quick breakfast can be found for under $6, whilst fast food meals begin at around $10. Sit-down meals vary greatly depending on location and quality, but expect to pay at least $20 dollars per person in a bar or chain restaurant, whilst high-end spots will charge upwards of $100. Los Angeles can be expensive, but of course there are ways to visit LA on a budget. Save money on food by sticking to the food truck scene and the cheap eats in Chinatown. Then save money on transportation by getting yourself a sightseeing bus pass. Spend a day at one of the public beaches or enjoy a hike in the nearby areas before taking advantage of some of the great happy hours in downtown LA. There are plenty of free things to do in Los Angeles and you can save money on paid attractions by picking up the LA City Pass. We will leave the link in the description below. For sites that aren't included in the City Pass, make sure to book tickets online in advance. Many attractions offer great savings for online bookings, especially if you book via a website like Get Your Guide or Cluck. So now let's look at the best things to do. Los Angeles has a lot to offer all types of travelers. Begin by taking a walk down Hollywood Boulevard before jumping on a Celebrity Homes tour bus, most of which leave from the famous boulevard. Head to the Getty Museum, the Los Angeles County Museum of Art or the Broad for some incredible art before watching the sunset from Griffith Park. Spend time seeing the Hollywood sign, try some food at Grand Central Market and then enjoy a fun afternoon at Santa Monica Pier. Spend a day on one of the beautiful beaches in the county, take a drive down Sunset Boulevard, then visit Runyon Canyon Park for some great views. Visit at least one of the TV and movie studios like the Paramount Pictures Studio or the Warner Brothers Studio, but also check out a theme park or three. Universal Studios, Disneyland and Six Flags are arguably the best parks to choose from. 
watch this video to find out 10 of the best things to do in Los Angeles. Then to learn how to save some money in LA, watch this video. We hope you have an incredible time and stay creative.